how would you have ordered your ideal Camaro? With over 240,000 1969 Camaros built, it's easy to become a bit desensitized to the standouts. The good thing is that there is plenty of documentation and research material to reference when something special pops up. And this is a special Camaro indeed. A sharp pencil and a wallet to back it up were all you really needed to order a 69 Camaro basically any way you wanted it. And whoever ordered this one push their Dixon Ticonderoga to the max. The story begins with the dealer name affixed to the back of our Fathom Green 1969 Camaro. Berger Chevrolet in Grand Rapids, Michigan dates all the way back to the 1920s and is still thriving today. In the late 1960s, the Berger team did quite well selling high-performance parts and cars like this 69 Camaro. The biggest engine available in your typical over-the-counter 69 Camaro was the 396, but the Berger crew knew some tricks when it came to getting their hands on hotter versions of Chevrolet's hottest cars. You may have heard of the Central Office Production Order System, or the COPO acronym before. This process allowed for cars to be ordered in special colors for fleets or municipal usage, for example. But it also allowed for the powerful 427 Corvette engine to be installed under the hood of Camaros where it wasn't officially offered. Yanko Chevrolet was famous for this, but a few other dealers like Berger, Nicky, Jack Douglas, and Baldwin Chevrolet also knew how to do massive sideways burnouts right through that Copo loophole. Copo code 9561 bought you the L72 427 for the kind of affordable upcharge of just $489.75. It wore a Holley 780 CFM carburetor, aluminum intake manifold, rectangular port cylinder heads, and swung a forged steel crank and forged pistons. The 11 to 1 compression 427 was good for a solid 425 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. This one is clamped to a Turbo 400 automatic, like most of the Berger Copos were, with the others turning Muncie four-speed manuals. The rumble is somewhat hushed thanks to the performance chambered exhaust system. In addition to the powerful mill, this one was also built to cut the rug with a Copo option 9737, known as the sports car conversion package. 9737 added 15 by 7 inch rally wheels with white lettered Goodyear tires, G32 heavy duty springs, power front disc brakes, a 12 bolt pause attraction rear differential cogged with 410 gears, and oversized 1 inch heavy duty stabilizer bars. These double Copo cars are about the best of all worlds when it comes to powertrain and suspension options for a factory built 1969 Camaro. The only goodies left on the dealership table would be the L89 aluminum heads or the ZL1 all aluminum 427, but ZL1s, well, that's a whole different deal. The numbers game is strong with this one. 9737, 9561, 427, TH400, and it tops off with a Z22. Can you dig it? Copo Camaros are hard to find, but even more so when they are fitted with the Rally Sport appearance package. Rally Sports hide the headlights behind movable doors and have a special grille up front. This one has a body-colored flexible front bumper and the ZL2 cowl induction hood for a really slick appearance. RS cars also move the reverse lights below the bumper and have specific taillights. The rear spoiler adds to the sporty look and the wheel opening trim glistens in the sea of dark green. 
bright gills dress up the quarter panels, and thin pinstripes highlight the body lines. The green vinyl top with polished halo trim classes up the roof. The driver enjoys a deep green cockpit with bucket seats, center console, and a basket handle shifter. Many times, Rally Sport Camaros are loaded with options, but being a Copo, well this one remains pretty minimal without AC or other power accessories. It's an interesting mix of factory lightweight race car that's also jazzed up with the RS appearance package. It's wearing a very nice restoration and it's one of only 58 or so Copos built with the RS package. The double Copo package is really incredible, but to see it on an RS nose, well, that really pushes it over the top for me. There's a lot of great Camaros here in the Brothers collection. You can see more of them on our website at musclecaroftheweek.com. And subscribing is real easy. All you have to do is click that little button and you'll never miss an episode of Muscle Car of the Week. See you next time. Good. That's two. Moving. Great.